Good day, boys and girls all around the world. Welcome mga Karats Boy Gaming sa ating new NFT games review for today. Disclaimer lang guys, always do your own research and invest at your own risk. Please be responsible of your own money and investment. This video is for informational purposes only. At kung bago ka sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button together with my social media account para lagi ka updated sa mga new NFT games review na inireview sa ating YouTube channel. Welcome guys dito sa ating new NFT ang Elemental Wars. Welcome back mga boy! Arats na at sabay-sabay natin guys, reviewin ang bagong NFT games ngayon na Underwax Blockchain. Yes guys, Underwax Blockchain na ito guys, okay? So another Wax Blockchain na naman guys, so alam nyo naman guys, kapag sinabing Wax Blockchain guys is talagang ano tayo dito, solid, okay? Because solid tayo nagre-review ng mga Wax Blockchain guys, at the same time din guys, is nagre-review din tayo ng mga Binance Smart Chain Project, okay? Then, again guys, always visit our official website, elemental-wars.com. Ilalagay ko guys, ang lahat ng link, social media account na gagamitin sa video ito sa description sa baba, okay? At tigit sa lahat guys, check muna natin sa ating Atomic Hub ang Elemental Wars. So, check natin guys kung whitelisted na sila. Oy, whitelisted na sila guys. Okay, tingnan natin. Whitelisted na. So, whitelisted na nga guys ang ating uh, project na Elemental Wars. Ayan, nakikita natin. Ang sabi dito guys, whitelisted, okay? This collection is whitelisted but not verified. Please double check the collection name and do your own research about the project. So, yun guys, always do your own research pa rin guys ha. Gagaya nga na sinabi dito sa ating Atomic Hub, okay? So, now, i-review natin ang kanilang game. So, as of now, may nakalagay na buy now. So, click natin kung may mapupukuha tayo dyan. Then, mapuproceed tayo sa kanilang Atomic, okay? Then, makikita natin guys, meron silang silver token, white list pass, at rare stop chess. Kung gusto nyo guys bumili, pwede kayong bumili. Pero I think kailangan nyo muna maging whitelisted. Okay? So dahil nandito na rin tayo guys, gusto ko lang ipabatid sa inyo guys na meron tayong pag-giveaway. Yes! Meron po tayong pag-giveaway po sa ating mga loyal viewers at ating mga community out there. Okay? So, meron tayo guys, ipamimigay na tatlong silver token for giveaway to guys. Three silver coin for giveaway and NFT for giveaway. So, hindi natin alam kung anong NFT ang ibibigay. I-click natin to or this one, whitelist, ayan, crop stop. Depende guys kung ano yung bibigay sa atin ng devs, okay? So, once na nakuha na natin guys, yung price na ipamimigay natin sa inyo na NFT together with the 3 silver coin giveaway guys is isi-send ko yan directly to your wax wallet. Okay? Kung paano sumali sa ating uh, giveaway raffles guys is alamin nyo yan sa end ng video ito. So what do you want? Is to stay on my YouTube. Para na sa ganun is malaman nyo kung paano sumali sa ating pag-giveaway raffles, okay? And now, proceed na tayo sa pinaka-game, okay? Uh, Busisiin na muna natin ang kanilang website. So, dito sa website nila, guys, meron tayo mga apat na elements, ang water, fire, earth, at air, okay? So, sa water, siya yung main source of light, Okay? So, elemental wars, it can also be used in offense. So, more on offense si water. So, si water magic is used to support 
The Companion with Healing. So, parang ano to, taga-heal natin dito guys. Okay? Then, but some water spell, furthermore, deal damage to the enemies. So, healing na siya, nakaka-damage pa siya sa mga kalaban using the water spell. And this is the part guys. So, pinaka-dangerous element guys. Because uh, everyone can tame it. And yet, fire skill are among the most powerful ones. They are truly deadly. Thus, fire magic deals the most damage. So, pinakamalakas pagdating sa damage, ang fire. And this is the earth type, guys. Okay? The earth magic gives the ability to controlling stone. So, nagpapagalaw siya, guys, ng stone. Kung makikita nyo dito, the stone is moving. So, para siya nag-levitate. Okay? Therefore, most of earth skill are focused on protection. So, more on protection siya, no? Defense. This magic helps safeguard alliance with shield and implements powerful stuff on their enemies. So, parang tanke-tanke yata ito, no? Si earth. And proceed naman tayo, guys, sa ating earth. So, parang ano ito, nasa hunter x hunter, oh. Yung, ano, hindi ko maalala kung ang pangalan niya. Basta, kamuka, Okay. And all the many people might underestimate the air. It's a really calm scene handing in elemental wars. Air magic makes other elements even stronger by increasing their damage, shield, and healing. So, ayan na yung mga elements type natin dito, guys. Apat, okay? And meron tayong land. So, land, guys, ay isa sa mga pinaka-importante aspect dito sa games na to. Okay? They're used to accommodate structure for province cultivation. Different land plots, guys, have their own fertility rates, okay? So, syempre, the higher the rarity, the higher the earnings that we get, okay? So, which define the growth rate of the, the crops and differ in size. The rarer ones have some unique future will provide the magician even more resources. So, elemental wars allow you to have up the three active lands at time. Every player raises a bee. Okay. So, ayan nga guys. More on lands talaga to. And, itong kanilang token nga nila guys dito. Okay? Kung makikita natin, ang token nila dito guys ay E-Wars token. So, ito yung magiging ano natin guys. Uh, uh, token natin dito na magiging income. Okay? Yung token na to, i-swap natin sa uh, Alpha Exchange, okay? So, ito yung magiging, ano natin dito, i-grind, okay? So, create the play-to-earn system. Player can earn E-Wars by playing Elemental Wars and can spend it on in-game item. Yes! So, parang ano, ano to, so guys, ang uh, kanilang... Uh, tawag dito uh, Game currency Okay, yung e-wars nila So, ito yung pinaka game currency So, sabi dito, cross magens Build and upgrade structures Crop potion and food Speed up crafting, cross breeding And construction And this is the tokenomic Total supply nila guys And another, buy now na naman So, same lang to kami, Nung kanina if I'm not mistaken. So, ayun. Oh, same lang nga siya, guys. So, proceed na tayo, guys, sa kanilang white paper. O pa sa ganun, guys, is maunawaan na natin yung mismong games. Okay? What is all about Elemental Wars? So, this is the vision ng Elemental Wars nga, guys. So, how player can earn a Wars token, Elemental Wars. So, Makaka-earn tayo guys by fighting in PvP mode against other players and PvE mode against the evil creatures earning resources that can later be sold on the marketplace. Then meron din sila guys breeding characters and making them stronger for the further sales on the marketplace. Then growing expensive plants for sale or further processes into rare potion then participating in guild tournament for a chance to win expensive loot so may mga guild tournaments na mangyayari pala dito guys sa elemental wars okay 
And ito yung pinaka-design goals nila by real ownership of in-game content, user-driven economy, unique game mechanics. So, sabi nila, unique daw yung game mechanics nila. So, yung nag-develop daw ng Elemental Wars ay sila yung na mismo yung naglalaro ng games. Kaya masasabi nila guys na ginawa nila yung best nila dito sa paggawa ng RPG na mga games na to. Gaya nga na sinabi nila dito. Okay? And let's proceed sa fight mechanics. So sa fight mechanics guys is uh, Elemental Wars has absorbed all the best gameplay mechanics on best RPG games. Okay? So while creating the Elemental Wars, yung team nila ay na-inspire guys sa Final Fantasy. So, and Heroes Might and Magic. So, mala, mala ano to? Mala Final Fantasy gameplay. Uh, Parahatik pa naman ako ng Final Fantasy. So, sana ano, di ba? Sana maging maganda, maging ano yung takbo ng ating project na Elemental Wars. Lalo lalo na. Uh, ano siya, inspired by Final Fantasy, okay? The gameplay of Elemental Wars is unique, but at the same time, it will be familiar to the core of every gamers. Angas? So, meron tayo mga spell nga na apat na elements, kaya nang sinabi natin kanina, guys, dun sa kanila official website. So, ayun na nga, guys, yung fire, water, earth, and air. And let's proceed sa kanilang mage. So, ito ang kanilang mage, guys. So, each mage has four abilities, okay? Na may different type. And of course, rarity. So, may mga characteristics siya, guys. Na mga HP, MP, speed, inmate buffs, to the elements, etc. So, during each game, guys, your mage, mage fight after the fight help doesn't restore by itself immediately. So, to start and playing the explore the game, guys, is you need to have three mage on your wax wallet. So, kailangan ng tatlong mage, guys, sa wax wallet mo. Other equipment at stuff are not mandatory, but they can give advantage. So, hindi mandatory, guys, yung mga stop stop pero ano, guys, uh, malaking advantage siguro para manalo ka dito sa games, no? So, ang importante talaga bago ka makapag-start ng game is meron kang tatlong mage. Ayun, no? So, ayun yung pinaka-main requirement. And this is the equipment nga, guys. So, equipment is a magician can take, uh, take with them to the battle. So, each unit, guys, has a slot for a stop. Okay? There's a slot para dun sa mga gamit mo na stop then player can also carry three different potion pwede ka mag uh, dala ng mga potion pero limitado lang siya ng tatlo so you can get from the world PBE or guild bosses also they can be bought or sold on the wax atomic hub pwede nyo dun guys bilhin okay then the potion impose of a positive or negative effect on mage for certain number of units. Then, meron din sila guys, mga healing herbals ng, ayan, pang grow ng mga farm. O, madadrop mo rin siya guys sa mga moves sa PBE mode, as the name suggests. As a healing herb used to make a potion. Yung healing herb guys is a, uh, ano mo yun, ay kukombine mo para maging healing potion. And this is the one nga guys. So, sabi nga doon kanina, Ah, hindi siya mandatory or ano, need para ah, tawag dito, ah, requirement para makapag-start ng game. Isa lang siya sa mga pan additional effects, okay? And this is the rare, the stop of the sunflower, and this is the mythical, the stop of the fog, and this is guys, the legendary rich charge stop. And of course, ang immortal stop. Ayan, or stop of doubling. So, ang ganda, ano? Of course, guys, the higher the rarity, the higher the damage, okay? Especially on this, this is a one. And let's proceed sa weather nila, guys. So, meron silang mga weather-weather na rin dito, guys. So, 
Una ang rare para sa mga volcanic eruption yan guys. So par elemental gains yan guys ng 6% spell damage plus 1% critical attack and 4% manico, mana cost reduction guys. So element of water gets negative 5 spell damage and negative at uh, plus 5 to spell cost in MP. Okay and this is the legendary the May witch mist. So, dalawa siya guys, yung weather natin, the volcanic, also no what, the rare volcanic eruption, the legendary guys, the witch mist. So, ayan guys, so effect na ito guys is magta-turn ka ng 4 round. A random mage from each team turns into a frog, ayan na yung frog oh. then 2 turns of law and losses 5% is mana. So, our team decide to add weather condition to the game for active in-game meta. We came up more than 10 interesting type of weather for you. And ito na nga guys, yung isa sa mga gameplay nila, ang PvP mode. So dito guys, sa PvP mode is kailangan mo nga ng tatlong mage na ilalaban mo guys against doon sa mga kalaban mo na may tatlong mage din, okay? Siyempre, Yung kalaban mo is player din mismo. So, for every game na mananalo ka guys, is makaka-receive ka ng mga rating points and e-wars token, okay? So, there are turns and round and ele elemental one na nag-represent guys ng spell or potion. So, example niyan guys is one mage. A turn can be escaped. Around ends after each mage using their turn. Basta manalo ka sa PvP, PvP guys, ay yung makukuha mong rewards, okay? The rating points and rewards token. So, and again guys, dito sa kanilang PvE or player versus environment, of course, kailangan mo talaga ng tatlong mage para lumaban doon sa mga monster, okay guys? Then, may apat na location siya guys, dito sa PvE. Ang forest, mountain, mines, and archer, uncharted land. So, yung bawat location na yun guys is makakahanap ka ng mga different type of resources. So, yung ano guys, may limit din yung PBE nila per games per day. This is so prevent ruining in the game economy. Siyempre, kailangan nila limit limitahan guys upang nang sa ganun guys. Is hindi kayo buong araw buong magdamag naglalaro. O diba? Para mag grind, 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 grind. So parang axe lang yan guys. Siguro may mga energy system sila dito. And this is the placement of units. Okay? So pwede mong i-place yung mga units mo. Diba? So kagaya niya guys sa Elemental War. So our team inspired by the uh, games such Idol Heroes and Hero Academy. So, kung alam nyo yung games na yun, guys, uh, inspired din sila doon. ba? Then, nag-decide sila na gamitin yung idol bottle system from some additional elements and turn-based strategy. So, minanage din nila to based, guys, doon sa gusto nilang mangyari, okay? Then, which means the elemental wars, it's not only tied to a pay-to-win system. So, before you start the fighting, guys, you will have to create your own team of magician by placing them on a 4x4 four four field. So, may 4x4 field pala dito, guys, na parang laban. Okay? Parang ano nga talaga siya, guys? Idol heroes na ito. Because the idol battle system nila, guys, dito is rather boring and monotonous to, to us. So, without the system. And let's proceed to land. So, ayun na nga, guys. Na ano na natin yung land kanina. Sa main website, meron pala siyang tatlong types ng land climate guys dito sa game. So, meron tayong una, savanna, is a moderate fertile plot of land. And another one guys, is forest. So, more on fertile land plot naman siya. And, ana, and lastly, the magic forest guys, na may highly fertile land plot para sa mga unique features, okay? From time to time yan guys, resources are sacrificed to the magician by forest creatures. So after creating an account guys, each player is provided with a starting land plot with savanna climate. 
which cannot be sold. So, meron tayong default plan na tinatawag na only po, default land plot na tinatawag guys na Savannah Climates. Siyempre, hindi mo siya pwede sold kasi nga guys, default land lang siya. Hindi siya NFT land na binili mo. Kung bumili ka ng sarili mo land, ayun, pwede mo siyang sold, okay? So, each player can buy as many land plots as they want and have up to 3 active land plots at a time. So, hanggang 3 active land, land land plots ang pwede dito, guys. And let's proceed sa structure nila, guys. So, ang structure nila, meron silang hole, farm, dwelling house, forge, swami, swirl, smelter, and potion making house. So, ito yung ginagamit, guys, para sa mga panggawa ng ano. Kunyari, ito, potion making house. Uh, ginagamit ito sa paggawa ng potion mula sa materials na medicinal herbs. Then, optimizing your land. Okay? Pwede mo i-optimize yung inyong land. Let's proceed sa kanilang breeding. So, ang breeding nila dito guys, of course, uh, yung isang mage is four times na pwede mo siyang i-breed. Okay? So, cross 1 is siyempre magbabayad ka ng 250 EWAS token. Then, this price guys is nag increase kada ano, another breeding na mangyayari. So, so, you can only breed men with women also. Okay? But in our game, uh, there is a gender swap potion that can you be used in unlimited numbers of time for each character. So, you are not limited by the character genders after the children are born. They will be placed in a dueling house until they grow up. So, ability characters and periods are transmitted randomly to the children. Ah, gas! May mga ganun-ganun sila, guys. And this is the guild. Gaya na sinabi natin, may mga wars wars dito, mga wars. So, ang tawag nila dito ay elemental Wars has a guild wars. Okay? Yung guild wars, laban-laban to guys. Maangas to guys. Okay? Kailangan mong sumali sa mga guild. Upang lang sa ganun guys, is makapag-guild wars ka. Then, syempre, may makukuha kang rewards kada win sa ating guild wars. And of course, meron tayong mga bosses. Which is guys, yung kailangan mong kalabanin yung mga world bosses dito guys. So, PBE bosses are integral part of PBE gameplay. So, syempre, pag nanalo ka dyan or nakamalaki yung bawas mo sa boss is may makakakuha ka ng reward. So, ayan nga guys, proceed tayo sa kanilang E-Wars token. So, ayan yung E-Wars token nila guys. So, so ang pinakasama rin nitong token guys is E-Wars is a game currency si that will be issue for winning PvP and as a reward defeating the boss. Then player can use Ewars for trading, crafting, crossbreeding, building, and upgrade structure and some other difference. Maganda to guys because they have only one token compared to the other games. They have a lot of tokens, three or more than uh, more than four tokens. You meron sila, but this project only have one token they focus only on one ewars token and again ang kanilang distribution ng tokenomics guys basahin nyo na lang together with the white chart diba so ilalagay ko yung link na description sa baba so that you can read furtherly the details by details and this is the utility of ewars guys so ayan na nga yung Example ng mga utility e ng Ewers nila guys. And let's proceed sa kanilang team. So yung team guys is Elemental Wars is developed by the Arcade Games. So ang company information guys is eto makikita nyo at mababasa nyo. If you want to do more deep research, do it guys. Okay, do your own research always. And of course, ang ating official social media account and Twitter, Telegram, at ang kanilang official website, ilalagay ko sa description sa baga. And also guys, is meron din silang Discord channel. I will show you the Discord channel guys mamaya at the end of this video. And let's proceed sa last part ng kanilang 
white paper ang kanilang roadmap. Dito sa roadmap nila guys is sa quarter 3 ng 2021 and hanggang ngayon sa quarter 1 ng 2022 eto na kanilang naisagawa initial game design, public announcement check, and launching a social network and website check and of course the community entertainment together with the puzzle giveaway and etc white listing on atomic hub i think this one is check we check already that they are already white listed okay para naman sa mga next quarter guys a pre-sale of stock land sale e-war stock and dip distribution for early bakers and launch of the beta version of the game so we're excited for this launch beta version of the game and the pre-sale summoning scroll launch of the in-game marketplace so kanilang next quarter step 3 and full release of the game for all players this is so very ano uh, kabang abang the games of the full release ng kanilang gameplay and of course it will release then ang kanilang guild mechanics and the first big update and the world bosses so sa quarter 3 quarter 4 ng 2022 bago matapos ang taon guys magaganap ang mga kaabang abang na pangyayari ito sa kanilang roadmap so speaking nga guys ng kanilang discord channel pumunta tayo sa kanilang discord channel nga guys so we are here guys sa kanilang discord channel ang elemental wars I will put the link on description below. So, ang kailangan nyo lang guys gawin para makasali kayo guys sa ating giveaway raffles is kailangan nyo guys is jumoin sa kanilang Elemental Wars Discord official Discord account. Okay? So, I will find you here who will be the winners of 3 silver coin giveaway and 1 NFT giveaway guys. I will find your username together with the number guys. Okay. Uh, your username on Discord together with the number. Just send it to our Twitter account. Okay. So ang gagawin nyo guys, ipapost ko tong video ito sa Twitter. Then magkakomment kayo sa Twitter natin. Kailangan nakapollow kayo guys. And ikokomment nyo lang ang hashtag Elemental Wars on my Twitter account. Okay? Together with your Discord name. Okay? With the numbers. Okay? Because I will find you here in the Elemental Wars Discord channel. Okay? So if you are not joining on the official Elemental Wars Discord channel, you will be disqualified, okay? The only winner should be follow our mechanics. So, ayun nga guys. Nireveal ko na yung mechanics ng ating giveaway, okay? So, proceed tayo dito sa kanilang Discord. So, sabi dito guys, uh, ayan, important information about sa kanilang chest sale. So, yung chest sale nila ay mangyayari sa March 25, 2022. So, may oras yan guys, 12 o'clock UTC para sa mga whitelist pass at coin holders and 14 UTC per sale wave, 15 UTC second sale wave at ang kanilang third sale wave na 16 UTC guys, okay? So, Sa ano natin guys, first wave, ang makukuha natin na pwedeng bilhin ay Immortal Chest, Legendary Chest, Mythical Chest, Rare Chest, okay? So may mga quantity lang yan na ibibenta nila. And that's the second sale wave nila guys. Is also the same lang din. Pero sa tingin ko guys is magmamahal yan kada wave. And of course, the third sale, the public sale, ayan guys. Immortal, Legendary, which is siguro nagmamahal yan. Okay? Mas malaking advantage kapag nauna ka dito sa kanilang white listed. Okay? 
And paano maging whitelisted guys is follow and subscribe lang kayo dito sa kanilang official social media account. Dahil ina-announce nila yan guys dito yung mga new announcement guys. Especially sa mga sales nila, sa mga whitelisted nila at yung mga upcoming uh, sales nila. Okay? Lalo na yung release ng kanilang game. And this is guys kung gusto nyo sumali sa kanilang pag giveaway guys. Ilalagay ko yan sa description sa baba guys Because this is the Big Bang Beta Airdrop nga guys Together with the, our uh, official uh, game on Wax Na sila The Hoot, Noah, MG, and many more So paano sumali guys? Ayan Ilalagay yung link sa, link sa baba Ayan So may pag giveaway na tayo May parapol pa dito si The Big Bang Beta Airdrop So kailangan nyo lang gawin guys is gawin nyo lahat to ayan para na sa ganun guys is magkaroon kayo ng entry dito sa kanilang so malapit na siya matapos ending in 5 days okay so ano pa hinihintay nyo guys join now and additional information guys para sa kanilang chest sale ayan nakalagay dito guys may mga 94% 6% ayan mga drop, drop chance natin nakalagay dito and ayan today we're starting a drop ayan so ayan malalaman nyo guys yung mga announcement dito sa kanilang discord channel so I think guys ay lang yung ating overall review dito sa games na elemental wars so that's it guys kung naging interested nga ba naging topic natin for today i-comment yun lamang yan sa comment section sa paba if you have any violent reaction, healthy comment, please comment below. At kung bago ka sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button together with my social media account para lagi ka updated sa mga new NFT games na i-review natin. That's it, boys and girls all around the world. This is your... A rats boy gaming.